And then, two years ago, opportunity knocked. Three wolf pups were born at the wildlife park, but rejected by their mother. That's when Sean stepped in as teacher and nurturer. Their names are Tamaska, Yana, and Matsi. The wolf pups are just 12 days old, but already they're demonstrating an iron grip. He's actually clamped tight on the thumb. And he, uh, because I've got hold of him, I can't actually get it apart. Even at this early age, you've, you've got tremendous jaw pressure here. And they're just starting to cut their teeth through, so he's got something to hang on to. So just literally, the more I'm trying to get it apart, he's clamping down more and more. As adults, those same powerful jaws will help bring down prey in yeah. the wild. This little wolfy love bite. Sean is about to teach the young wolves one of their first important lessons, how to communicate with other wolves. These guys have just started to show the first signs of ear movement, twitching, which will indicate that they can actually hear us and our voices. So this is an ideal time now to start to begin to teach them their language. And the best place to start is with the howl. Let's see how he gets on. A young wolf howls the same way that an adult does. But since they're smaller, their calls are at a much higher pitch. I guess that's what we call first lesson over. Wolves howl to mark boundaries between rival packs. And it's essential for them to recognize the voices of each individual within their pack. In the wild, Three-week-old wolf pups can be heard howling right alongside their parents. At seven weeks, Yana, Tamaska, and Matsi are getting their first lessons in tough love. Strict discipline is the way wolves are taught in the wild. So it's time for Sean to start enforcing the rules. To anybody watching, that might seem very, very cruel, biting a young wolf on the ear to make him squeal. But the squeal is very, very important to his development because he's giving you a sound that means you've hurt him. Sean uses muzzling or nose biting as a form of discipline. The lesson, know your place within the pack. Biting can reinforce status and keep others in line. Understanding the rules of the pack is especially critical at mealtimes. As the pups grow, so does their trust in Sean. When the pups are three months old, he takes another, deeper step into their world. He starts to live, sleep, and eat with his new wolf family. Essentially, he begins to live as a wolf. <laughs> the pups are growing fast. Now that they're eating meat, Sean wants to give them the closest possible experience to actually feeding in the wild. So he feeds them just as an adult wolf would, from his own mouth. The young wolves lick Sean's lips. In wolves, this triggers regurgitation. Sean will imitate the regurgitation process after a little sleight of hand. First, he hides partially cooked meat in his pocket. Then he secretly slips it into his mouth, chews it, and allows the pups to lick it out. Sean is teaching his pack, but he's also gaining valuable knowledge about wolves knowledge that he hopes will help save the lives of wild wolves.